prefer cycling purely because it allows me to be observant, see all the streets and the signs and all the people moving around. Otherwise, I would have driven straight past it and not noticed. I remember specifically going up to my mum and saying, like, Mum, I'm bored, like, and her response, rather than saying, you've got lots of toys, is she was like, you have a pencil case. You can never be bored. As a child, you know, I became obsessed with these letter forms. They're looking at somebody's backpack or a toy and it would have logos on them and those are the things that I would start seeing out in the real world. And I would do like the odd sign for a friend that had a pub and little bits and bobs all over the place. Very little money, pretty scrappy, just trying to kind of develop a style. There was no long-term plan. It was just like, what do I like doing? And all of a sudden I'm like, you know, getting onto a plane with all of my paints thinking like, wow, this is like working. My work didn't belong on flat surfaces. I preferred painting trains and I liked hard surfaces. I liked shiny things. They're all objects I guess I was attracted to when I was a child, things that looked fun. Skateboards, surfboards, bicycles, motorcycles, cars. For me, the most enjoyable part then is the process. I love painting. I love sitting down for hours and sanding a helmet and just zoning out and knowing that this is part of a journey that's gonna ultimately get me to a finished product that I'm proud of. If I was just go, 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 and never sitting down and having a moment, I wouldn't be able to come up with the next idea. It would just be the same idea regurgitated. It's a really fine line between those, you know, those signs like life's a beach or live, laugh, love. Like, I don't want to be that guy, but like, I do want to potentially like cover the world in slightly more positive messaging. Take yourself more seriously. Confront your fears. Be nice to people. <laughs>